It is pregnancy update time and it is third trimester. Yay! No, we're not going in the car. dirty car.
Thank you. Hi. Say hi. Say hi, everybody. I'm playing outside. See, I'm playing outside. Hey, y'all. So, me and AJ are outside walking. Look. Look. Is that AJ? Is that AJ? Yeah? Is that AJ? <laughs> Look. Yeah, hey. Okay. No, you don't have to hold it. I'll hold it. Okay? Okay. Okay. So, we're outside walking. We're just walking the block here. Since we have a corner house and I don't want to walk too far and start feeling like I'm about to pass out and then be stuck way down the road. So we're just walking right here the corner of the house. So up oh, where you going? Going back in the yard? I guess I'll let AJ lead the way. He's running after his ball. Is it too big to pick up? <laughs> you want me to help you? Let me help you. I, okay. <laughs> I help you. I help you. Y'all, I'm trying to talk, but AJ keeps trying to take the camera. And walk off with it. You wanna come up here so you can see? Ugh. Here you go. Oh, and then he gets back down. Get back down. Here you see. I'm gonna go sit in the Durango and maybe <laughs> maybe I can actually say a few things. Yay, it's open. Oh. And it's full of stuff. You want to come up here too? Just push my leg out of the way. Why don't you go play? <laughs> so, we're sitting in the back of the Durango again. It's hot in here, but the breeze outside feels good. <sighs> I want to talk to y'all about the fact that is gonna pull the seat talk to y'all I want to talk to y'all about what's going on 
with my pregnancy so far. Especially with it being third trimester. Alright, first things first. I don't know if y'all can actually tell. I can tell. But um, the third trimester puffiness in my face is already evident. <laughs> I can feel it. Like, it just feels like my face is swollen. My mouth and lips, it just feels like they're swollen. But I know it's just pregnancy third trimester um I got a lot of you know the same stuff going on I don't even remember what all I talked about in the last um pregnancy update that was like almost 10 weeks ago wow yeah because that was 19 weeks and I am 28 weeks now and um I will say, whoa, the feet and ankle swelling has started. It's not bad. Like anybody else probably wouldn't even notice, but I notice because my shoes all of a sudden get tighter or my feet feel like they're about to like burst or something if I like uh, move my toes or stand up on them. And it feels like they're just gonna just pop. But it's not too bad. I just hope it doesn't get any worse. That's probably silly for me to hope that. You know, you're going to pull your shoe off. Okay. Um, oh, hand me the shoe. The other thing is, thank you, DJ. <laughs> the other thing is my, <laughs> I call it my, my, my Fred Sanford walk is what I call it, but my third trimester wobble has kicked in in full effect so no matter how hard I try to walk straight I can't walk straight I start wobbling and it's crazy and it's, well it's not really crazy it's annoying like and I'm walking I'm like oh my gosh why am I walking like this and so then I try to straighten up it doesn't work it doesn't work at all um oof, you just gonna pull me back Um, what else is going on? Um, of course, baby's getting bigger. My tummy is starting to, like, really stretch. Like, it's starting to feel like, um, the skin. Like, you know how when you eat too much and you're full and your stomach's real tight? That's how it's starting to feel, like, all the time. <laughs> Especially right here at the top. So it's, it's starting to feel tight. So I'm trying to keep, you know, trying to keep my tummy moisturized and everything and keep cocoa butter on it so that I don't end up with stretch marks on top of stretch marks. Because the stretch marks that I got with AJ, they're like starting to show back up a little bit. What's wrong? What you want? What you want? Whatever it is, I'm not doing it right now. You need to get out of here. You're starting to sweat. Yes, you're starting to sweat. Sit right here so you can get the breeze. You're not going to sit down? Yeah, sit right here so you can get the breeze. Yeah, don't jump down. No, no, no. Yeah, stay right there. <laughs> So, um, my tummy is starting to feel like that, and of course, baby, he is moving a whole lot. He's moving all the time, just, um, just not as wild as AJ was. AJ was just wild in there. I thought he was going to punch it, kick his way through my stomach <laughs> at, some time, at some point. I was like, oh my gosh, what is this kid in there doing? But this one really is, like, so much more chill. Like, he moves around all the time, but he's not, like, just wild with it. Uh-huh. You getting down? Leaving mommy? And off he goes. Oh, he's going 
get the ball. So, whew, yeah. The other thing that I was so hoping would not kick in. I'm trying to keep an eye on AJ. Um, <laughs> this is this is the TMI part. So if you want to fast forward, please do. Um, but those of you <laughs> like first-time moms that really want to know this stuff, please listen up. Um, <laughs> but I was. Oh my gosh, y'all. I was hoping that this wouldn't happen again. But um, I can definitely tell that it is third trimester because the constipation then kicked in. Oh, oh my gosh. And then with the constipation, then you get hemorrhoids. Oh my gosh. Some things are terrible. Terrible. To me, the hemorrhoids are like the second worst painful thing with pregnancy. What is oh? The first painful thing is the um the leg cramps. I haven't had those. Um, <laughs> my best advice for that is smart water, and then you're good. Cause basically, you know, cause pregnant women were already hot. We got all this extra blood pumping through our bodies. We got this extra human growing in our bodies. So we're already hot. So then when we sleep and sweat, we um we lose those um electrolytes when we sweat. And then of course we end up with the cramps. So <sighs> Smart water has the electrolytes plus it's water, so you have your um your fluid, so it helps with um with the cramps. My um, chiropractor told me about that when I was pregnant with AJ, and I was talking about the cramps that waking me up in the middle of the night. That was that was the most horrible thing I ever felt. My gosh. So yeah, um, so I haven't had. The leg cramps and hopefully I can keep those away but the constipation and the hemorrhoids hmm if y'all have any advice on how to how to prevent the constipation altogether Lord knows I could use it um because <laughs> that is oh that is not fun it's like giving birth in the middle of pregnancy like before you actually give birth to a baby you got to sit there and practice AJ Hey, buddy. I'm coming back. Come on. There you go. <laughs> Come on. There you go. Yeah, what you trying to get? You want to get that light? <laughs> You don't, you don't need to get it. Look. See? It's not even going to do anything. The car isn't on right now. Um. So, yeah. So, I'm trying to get... <laughs> trying to get this dog on. Him was down. That's not fun. Like, it's already, like, hard to sit down and get up, move around. And so, then they have to deal with that. Also, um, pain that I'm having that I didn't have, um, when I was carrying AJ is, um, this, oh gosh, how do you say it? Um, I forgot how to say it, but basically it's like the, um, the ligament or cartilage, whatever, I'm gonna say ligament, that's like, um, like in between your um pubic bone so it's like where your um your pelvic bone connects in the front it hurts so bad and it makes me feel like i have a pulled muscle so then that also makes walking difficult um everybody's like always so concerned and think like you know you're not in labor even though i'm not in labor i mean i'm just my body hurts um <laughs> so 
yeah so i have to be careful how i sit down how i get up how i walk how i climb into bed how i climb out of the bed how i walk up a step um <laughs> just stepping up on the curb sometimes will aggravate it so much that i can't even i can't even move anymore and um the first time I heard it really bad, I just laid across the couch, just fell over and across, across the couch and just cried. And AJ walked over to me and he just started rubbing my leg. And I was like, oh, baby. <laughs> Whenever I'm having my little crying moments, he'll come over and just just rub me. You want, you be want mommy to be happy? Yeah. <laughs> um. So, yeah. So, I was trying to look up, like, what that was. Because I, you know, wanted to make sure it wasn't like some kind of infection or anything. And <laughs> to see whether or not I needed to have that looked at like right away or not. Or if I could wait until my um, doctor's appointment, which is day after tomorrow. And, um, so basically oh, it's, hey, it's, it's a, <laughs> it's all part of the pregnancy. Get down. There you go. So part of the pregnancy and basically um it's just the pelvic bone just adjusting to the baby and preparing for delivery so i was like how great so not to mention that but on the back side is my pain um pain in my my tailbone which my tailbone has been hurting ever since i gave birth to aj so <laughs> i didn't know if my tailbone was broken or something like it hurts that bad and um like me sitting down right now in this um durango i'm gonna have to get back up in a little while because my tailbone's gonna start to hurt really bad if i don't and um <sighs> so my doctor told me that that was um basically you know all part of the process and because because it moved when giving birth to AJ, so now it's just, it's just, yeah. It's just basically permanently out of place. So my concern was, <laughs> when I give birth to this one, would it get any worse? And she said, basically she said that it's already as bad as it's gonna get, so. So I was like, well, at least I know it won't get worse. Let me get out. Oh, there you go. What you doing? <sighs> huh? What? Are you want me to pick you up? Not right now. All right, let me say the last thing. Come on. The last thing about <laughs> about it, about uh well the last few things of course now we're in the process of planning the uh, shower and stuff and and I'm you know having to go ahead and start getting things ready for labor and delivery the hospital stay and all of that so the other big thing that I'm feeling with this third trimester now is like it's starting to set in finally that I'm about to have another baby and I'm gonna have another kid in the house and also I'm feeling like I'm feeling nervous it's almost as if I've never given birth before and I'm sitting here like oh my gosh when I have this baby is it gonna hurt <laughs> so So I'm like nervous and it's weird. Is that normal? Like even after you've had kids before, when you're getting ready to have another one, is it normal to like still feel nervous? Cause I'm wondering like, <laughs> is it gonna feel like, you know, when I had AJ, will it feel worse? <laughs> yeah. Cause when I had AJ, I was, um, going to deliver him naturally 
and I did all the way up into um, the delivery part and I just got so exhausted and I just I, I was oh I was just I was exhausted and irritated so I went on ahead and did the um, epidural and of course as soon as they gave me the epidural they checked me and I was fully dilated so I really didn't need the epidural but but I'm wondering <laughs> but see the actual pushing part and him coming out obviously I was on the epidural so I'm wondering should I should I do the same thing this time like just go all the way up into as long as I can go and then get the epidural or should I go all the way without the epidural so I was just like I'm nervous I don't know I don't know I think AJ is getting a little hot out here so we're about to go inside but yeah, so that's what's going on with me with third trimester. I'm just wobbling around, trying to get ready for this birth, and realizing I'm about to have a second kid. <laughs> All right, buddy, come on. Let's go inside. Oh, that's what you wanted to. Come on, let's go inside. Can mommy close this? Can I close it? Is mommy strong enough to close it with one hand? She's going to use her arm. All right. You now you back up. Don't want you mash your fingers. There you go. Come on. Okay. So there's some other things that's also going on um, <laughs> since third, third trimester started. Um, when I recorded the other part, it was like right after. Then all this other stuff started. Um started kicking in <laughs> hey buddy um one is this right here mama 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 aj is like super super clingy like i don't even know where it come from like he's just he's just he's just clingy why are you frowning <laughs> Like, he threw this terrible tantrum um, the other day, all because I wouldn't pick him up. I'm like, AJ, uh, you know we don't do that. So, yeah, he's, like, really, really clingy. And he wants to lay down on me, but he wants to lay down, like, on my tummy. And, oh, you rubbing, Mommy? Where's Baby? Where's Baby? Oh, you rubbing, Baby? You sweet big brother. No, don't press. <laughs> don't, no, don't, don't press on baby, okay? Just rub him. Can you rub him? Yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's one thing. Mwah. <laughs> He's like so, just so clingy. Usually, like, you know, like he, oh my gosh, he just loves his daddy. You waving? And so me, it's just kind of like, um, like, oh, hey, mama. You know, that type of thing. But now it's like he, it's like he won't leave me alone. <laughs> you won't leave me alone? He's good about helping me off the couch, though. Whenever I ask for help, he has his hand out to help pull me up off the couch. <laughs> um, another thing that has started, which I was hoping that it wouldn't start, but my thumbs keep dislocating, and that happened when I was pregnant with AJ, and I didn't know what was going on. Um, but like I, I, you know, like in the middle of the night or whatnot, they would dislocate. Like I guess if I move or stretch or something. While I was sleeping and, you know, dreaming. Um, and my thumbs would just dislocate and it hurts. So then I had to take my other hand and, like, pop it back into place. And, oh, gosh. So, um, so after I had AJ, um, it was still doing that. And it did it for about a few months after I had him. My chiropractor, because I told her about it. 
my chiropractor actually told me to um, get some KT tape um, and like just wrap it basically around my hand where the thumb is and it helps basically as I'm you know being active and moving around and doing things to help keep that um, in place and then eventually it just it stopped um, popping out of place so then I stopped using the KT tape so yeah so that's starting back in it's not bad but every now and then my thumb will pop out of place and it's like oh here we go with this here we go um another thing <laughs> speaking of my hands is that i don't know if y'all can i don't know if you can tell probably not not okay just look like i'm being weird but um <laughs> My hands are like super, super dry. Like they look, they look scaly and just, just wrinkly and just, they just, they look terrible. But I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't think that my hands being dry is a direct pregnancy symptom. I think it just comes, honestly, I just think it just comes from me having to pee every 30 minutes. And every 30 minutes having to wash my hands is drying my hands out. <laughs> yeah, so this peeing every 30 minutes is so real. <laughs> Y'all see how active AJ is? Oh my gosh, all this energy. And I'm tired. I'm so tired. So tired. What you doing? <laughs> you silly. You silly. You silly. Hope you're leaving. Oh, you're gonna, you gonna fall out on the floor? Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> you laid out on the floor? <laughs> you silly. You silly. Oh, yeah. Another thing that, that started. It started, um... It started last week. Yeah. It started last week on Wednesday. And I was like, whoa. Is it time for this? Braxton Hicks um, contractions. And I get them every day now. Maybe like once or twice a day. So, yeah, that started. I can't remember when um, when I started having those with, with AJ. I can't remember. I have to go back and look, but... Yeah, so that has started. So it's like, oh my gosh, we really are like, <laughs> we really are winding down. We're almost about to have a baby, AJ. We're gonna have another little baby in the house. You know, I like you don't hear me now. Yeah. <laughs> What? He's so silly. And another thing I have going on is um when I had my um my twenty week um ultrasound um I had to get another one done um because they couldn't get a, a good view of the baby's lungs and um so I had to go to um. To one of the hospitals and have another ultrasound done and they were able to see the lungs and the lungs were fine but then they found that my um placenta is not where it's supposed to be so i have a low-lying placenta so it's not over the cervix but it's close to it so I basically have been told to, you know, take things easy and, um, yeah, pretty much just 
just on on chill go ahead <laughs> and so we won't be able to check on the placenta until 32 weeks so got some time to wait so i've been trying to take things easy and try not to um to do too much which everybody fusses at me if i you know do something that i guess i shouldn't be doing some a lot of times i don't realize that i shouldn't be doing it i just you know just trying just trying to be normal and then you know somebody will look at me crazy or say something and get on to me and i'm like oh oops i won't do it again <laughs> Once again, <laughs> I was, um, you know, listening to the Bible studies on the radio. So the man doing the Bible study was talking about when the children of Israel were in the wilderness and God brought them to the promised land. So Joshua sends out, you know, the, the 12 spies. So they go out and they come back and then they come back basically complaining about you know there's giants out there and <laughs> we we're, we're we're like grasshoppers compared to them like how are we gonna how are we gonna take that land and um and so it just reminded me of how you know we look at things that we're dealing with and it it seems like you know giants like it's it just seems like you know it's too hard to handle because i've always been the type Cause like growing up, my room was like always messy, but it was always messy because when it got that bad, it just looked like it was too much to handle. So it was just like, ugh, I'm just gonna have to just <laughs> live with it like that. And um, and that's why I'm trying to do a better job of being organized now, um, <laughs> with my home because when things just get too big, I start to feel overwhelmed and. I can't get it done. It's too much. It's just too. It's just too much. I can't. I can't do it. I can't. I can't. Um, there's no way I'll possibly get all of this done. It's too much. So when he was talking about that and thinking of thinking back about that, we we tend to do things like that when situations come up. It seems like it's just it's too big for us to handle, and it's like you know we're like grasshoppers. Like this task or this situation, this circumstance is is too big for us and it, it'll it'll kill us, like it'll destroy us. And so then Joshua and Caleb, they go and they come back and their report was different because their report basically included the comparison of those same giants, but God. And God was way greater than those giants. And then we have to remember that, you know, as believers and, you know, believers of Christ and, you know, being a child of God, like <laughs> he's on our side. So we have God that is like way bigger than these giants that we are, you know, so intimidated by. But the thing is, we shouldn't be intimidated by them because we have God and, um, we have Christ as our leader and as our God and we, you know, follow his example and the giants basically <laughs> are nothing. They're basically the the grasshoppers compared to God and he's on our side. And it also remind reminded me of like, you know, as a kid, you know how like when you're dealing with other kids or whatnot and and kids like to argue back and forth and say, you know, my daddy can beat your daddy and things like that. So I was, um, <laughs> I can remember a time, and this was like in high school too. But I can remember a time when um, I forgot what was going on at the school. It was probably a bunch of craziness or whatnot. And so my dad came to the school and so we was looking for my brother to pick him up. So, um... Um, so obviously I was a senior at the time, so I, I wasn't even a little kid, but having him there, it was kind of like, you know, I, I was walking beside him. I don't even think he knows this, but I was walking beside him and looking at, you know, all the other kids on campus, like, yeah, I dare you to say something, or step to me, now nah, do something, <laughs> even though nobody was bothering me anyway, but 
it was just one of those things like, you know, you got someone on your side that's, that's, you know, bigger and stronger. And because of them, it makes you stronger and you have that confidence. And that's what we need to have in God. We need to remember that God is on our side. And yeah, we see these giants and stuff that we have to deal with. All these, you know, the stresses of life, the stresses of motherhood, all of that. But God is on our side. And with him, we have that strength. We should have that confidence to, you know, overtake those things and check off our to-do list and say, got it done. And so I just wanted to, <laughs> to mention that because they, the, the Bible study, of course, was talking about something different. But that was a little nugget out of it that I got that, you know, really applied to, you know, just things that we deal with, you know, just with life and just as parents, as moms um as women and so <laughs> so I just wanted to share that all right let's see if we can catch baby boy move and there he goes All right, y'all, so this is the seven-month baby bump. And my shirt's getting to the point where they're starting not to cover my belly all the way because it's, like, just exposed up under here. AJ's going to pull my tape measure quick. Stop, buddy. Oh, we just want to play. My kids want to play so much. All right, so there's my, my belly, super, super heavy. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure. And it is 34 inches. That is not true. <laughs> 43 inches. That's what happens when you try to read upside down. So, 43 inches. Huh? Yeah. So, 43 inches. Here, let's do this one. Do this for fun. And I did my weight already. My weight is um, 167. So I weigh more now than what I did at, with AJ at this point. So, yeah. So this is what I want to know. I want to know. How did um, those of you that have, you know, more than one, one, more than one child, um, how did your kids respond to a new sibling? And if you have like more than two or whatnot, several kids, how did they respond to a new sibling each time? So I'm curious about that because I'm, I'm excited and, <laughs> and curious to see how AJ is going to respond. Um, he just sort of seems to have like mixed emotions right now. Like one minute he's like all clingy and wanting to rub on baby and everything. And then other times it's like he's, you know, they want to fit and carry on. Don't want to be, don't, don't want just like, like stop talking about this baby. So I'm curious to see how he's going to, um, how he's going to respond to not being the only kid in the house anymore. <laughs> So yeah, so tell me in the um in the comments below, like how did your kids respond when they had um new siblings come in the household?
<laughs> you just gonna come and lay on baby you're gonna start that again I'm trying to catch baby moving you messing it up no 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 stop AJ go on somewhere No, don't you go over there and mess with anything. <laughs>